Okay, everything's good. Bismillah. Okay. Um, welcome to another episode of the Trap Shape Podcast. Um, again, I don't know if I can call this a podcast. I'm just going to call it. Welcome to another episode of the Trap Shake Memoirs. Oh, that sounds a bit better. <laughs> Slowly we're finding a title for this. <laughs> it's only been about, what, six months? <laughs> all right, let me delete all these emails. I could have just done that another time, but anyway. Uh, today's episode is... um. Again, like always, I'm going to try and keep it short. Um, inshallah, we'll see how short we can keep it. And to be honest, it is a short thought I wanted to just get out. But before anything, I just want us to say thanks to our sponsor, which is, again, Human Appeal. Make sure you follow them uh, to keep up to date with all of our deployments, all of our challenges. Um, there's going to be some opportunities for you lot to join on these opportunities and well like deployments and challenges etc so there's going to be many opportunities to like bring this into like an actual tangible or physical uh, benefit i feel like i need to go on a deployment or one of these challenges soon because i'm yes dying up in here dying anyway but um but yeah the episode today very simple one it's not simple it's actually quite deep and it's actually quite serious and before I talk about this I know usually I don't like talking about um Islamic topics or well the episode today is a uh, more pertaining towards the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the reason why I don't like talking about Islam all these weighty things is because obviously you have that thing of like who am I to talk about these things um, and that's 100% true at the same time I don't want anyone to think just because I'm wearing a kufi um, that I'm pious in any way I'm not um, I'm really bad <laughs> um, I'm not knowledgeable in that regard like I haven't went anywhere for an extensive amount of time to study or whatever I just read a lot and I just watch a lot of like lectures I guess um but that's it really I mean I guess that's all knowledge is really I mean I say that I do go to Mauritania I do go to Senegal I do go to Morocco um and sit with sheikhs I'll, I'll give myself that I, I do sit with them and I'll just take my own kind of reflections and whatever and what they teach me there and then which again I do believe is important, but like by no means am I a scholar or anything. Maybe one day I'll go study somewhere for a few years. Who knows? But anyway, the the topic I wanted to talk about today. Let me just make sure I'm recording. Okay, I'm recording. The topic I wanted to talk about today was um, basically. I real. I know sometimes you know when you're studying, or you've recently. Sorry, when you've recently discovered islam now that can be either through your arriva or discovering islam meaning like you know when you're a muslim and you're trying to what it feels like rediscover your deen or take it more seriously um in whatever aspect that is in and some it, there's so much to do within islam there's so many sciences there's the the sciences of like hadith the quran sciences the there's so much that you can go into the philosophy of islam the like and i think everyone has their thing that they're kind of drawn to um like i know some people that just like lose their mind over like the linguistic elements of the quran i kind of do that a little bit sometimes with some of the um with some of the reflections i do like um yeah, like they are pretty mad. <laughs> so yeah, so I'll give myself, I'll give that. But the main thing that I, I, I kind of just worked out to myself, I was like, okay, well, why don't we just start at like the bare bones of like what it is? Like how should we look at l learning about this Dean? And obviously there's only one answer to this question. I mean, someone might say there's another one, but <laughs> to my knowledge, there's, there's only one answer. And that answer is the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So then, obviously, with this knowledge, I said, yeah, like, I'm going to learn 
about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's life. So the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's Sirah, which is basically the life, the events, and there's in-depth analysis on his life and the events that went on in his life and the people in his life. Because I think once you learn about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam through Sirah and through his what he went through in his life, I think the beautiful thing is you start to see yourself in the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so already you gain a level of familiarity with him um and you need and you need that you you can't go you can't be a muslim and not know muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you can't it's a it will all and maybe maybe you're even someone i say that i i say maybe this is oh this is for the people that are starting out maybe this is for the people that are down the path or like knowledgeable or whatever but the thing is maybe something always feels like it's missing in your islam and I, I, this is turning it on to me i've i've always gone through my life thinking something's been missing and i've and i've understood it through the years that it was always muhammad that was missing in my religion um and obviously people are like oh what do you mean muhammad like he can't be missing because he, like we get our hadiths from him and we get this and we blah 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 but it's like but if you don't know who he was and if you don't know and again like a deep knowledge of him like not just like oh yeah I've, d- I've done like a a course over it or just like in a, a one week course. you can't you can't encapsulate Muhammad Sallallahu in a week in a month in it's, it's a lifelong journey like the the same level that someone would look at the Quran and dive deep into all of its elements and what it's trying to teach you. You could argue the same for the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's life, and who he, and who, the reality of who he was. Sorry, um, <clears throat> but yeah. So it was me being that being said, it, it was just the, it led me to this thought as well, which is probably the title of this YouTube video might be "We've Forgotten Muhammad," um, and I, the reason why I've kind of posed that title. I kind of did want to make you feel a bit offended by it because sometimes we need that thing to kind of like wake us up. Do you know what I mean? Like let's say if I'm in the gym or like let's say I haven't been going to the gym and I've my muscles are weak, I'm small, I'm starting to decrease. And so I'm saying this because this is what's actually happened over the past few weeks. I'm losing my muscles. I'm crying on the inside. <laughs> But then, but then someone comes to you and says, "Oh, Umar, you're like, yo, you're looking kind of small, you know, or you're like, oh, you built like a, do you know what I mean? Just some form of something that you'd like, kind of take offense to, and sometimes it gives you that little jolt that you need to get into action, basically. So that was the purpose of this title as well, as well as I kind of do believe it is a it is a fact at the same time, um, and my intention for this because I wasn't going to do this episode my intention was if I can inspire just one person or a couple more but just one and on the day of judgment they could be like oh because of that video I watched I then went and studied the Prophet Muhammad in depth and got a closer relationship to him and if I can just have some barakah or something in that wallahi like I'm I'm good because again death is coming for us all and i'm gonna die soon so it's like you need we need to start just shaping up our affairs and start patterning what's right etc um and i'm saying that because i'm saying it because um and that's the reason why i've recently tried to again study the prophet a bit more sallallahu alaihi wasallam um, but yeah, no, but again, it takes me into this thing. I was looking into, I was looking, so what the first thing I was looking for, I was looking for the seerah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I know this has taken me so long to get into it, probably 10 minutes until I've got into it. I'm sorry, maybe this episode is going to be a long one and it should be because it's for our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So again, um, so I'm looking on youtube and i'm looking on like just google and i'm trying to find like a course on the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's life there are courses out there but they're all on youtube anyway so the courses i I found like related back to youtube 
So then I just went on YouTube and I just I was typing in like, oh, okay, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Sira. And there was like one video, oh, okay, this is the life of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, 45 minutes. And then this one was, again, one hour, 12 minutes. And then one, and then I did find, I'm not going to, again, like just <laughs> like uh, be annoyed at everyone. Because I think Yasser Qardi has, I don't know if I'm saying his name right. Yasser Qardi? Qardi? Yeah, Qardi. I know he has um, a very, very long Sira. And it's funnily enough, it's the one I'm going through right now. Um, it's got like 104, 208 episodes. Um, and each one is like an hour going into the life of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And may Allah bless him for that. Um, so that's what I'm going through. So there was that one. And then I found another one, which was about maybe 20 episodes. And they were about an hour long each. So again, another good one. And then there was nothing. And I was like, Wait, what, what, do you, what do you mean? Like, we have so many vid Like, if you type in on YouTube and just type in Islam or whatever, we have so many videos on this and that. Don't even get me started about how many videos we've got on, like, debates and stuff. Like, or Speaker's Corner. I'm not going to pass my thoughts on that place. But for me, it was like, we have so many videos of this and this oh, is the permissibility of wearing earrings and the permissibility of this and this and this and I'm not going to say dumb things because they're not dumb things because there are, there are hidden realities within these things and they all shape up but things that just don't matter at a certain point in your deen and what I mean by when I say that is like before yeah, everyone has that statement oh you need to walk before you can run it's like some of us are like we're so fixated on oh d does um what's the permissibility of fly fishing <laughs> and that's it yeah, that just actually is a thing what's the permissibility of fly fishing or uh what's the permissibility of earrings or what's the permissibility of this or these very minute intricate details and then you go to the person and you say like oh like do you pray five times a day and they say no or they don't know how to pray or and for me i'm just for me, it was me just thinking like you have so much more that you need to focus on, and it's more important because it is it, one hundred percent. It's more important. The prayer is more important than everything. Knowing the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is more important than everything within this. It's more important than whether uh, you're allowed to wear makeup or not. It's one hundred percent more important than that. So for me, it was like I need to double down on that, and eventually, inshallah, maybe one day we'll get to that. Maybe you'll stop. Um, again, uh, what's the word? Uh, piece, piercings, or I've got tattoos, or whatever. Blah blah blah. Maybe, maybe later on down the line, you'll get to that thing. But the main thing is, is like prayer. But again, the, the, this again, the, everything I'm saying with uh, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you can kind of re relate to prayer. But in this regard, it's just the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because he was the link to it all. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He gave us the prayer. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was the walking Quran. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he taught us about Allah. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was the one that gave us everything. So why do you not know him? It is, it, it blows my mind. And I'm saying it to myself as well. It blows my mind that we spend so much time watching debates, speakers, corner things, atheists gets owned, but I don't care about any of that. At, at all I don't need my faith reaffirmed to me because you've disproven the trinity like it's just I mean some people do maybe but for me and I, I'm sure I speak for a lot of people we don't need it we don't care about it I don't care about the permissibility of fly fishing at this point in my career or in my career in this journey towards Allah and the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that's what and that's your what really your main focus should be and through the pursuit of trying to le learn and love the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you'll get a closer connection to allah and through that you want to learn more and through learning more you'll love more and through loving more you want to learn more and it's just a beautiful cycle that happens and then yes you'll eventually get down to the permissibility of this this x y and z but it just broke my heart that i'm going through tiktok I mean, that's maybe my problem. I shouldn't be like scrolling through Islamic TikTok videos. <laughs> but 
or like I'm going through TikTok videos, or I'm I'm trying to find these things on YouTube, and it's like it's just all things that just like just lack that substance. So again, the main thing I'm uh, the main thing I want people to take away from this episode and from this reflection is please <laughs> just like trying to beg it, just please just please take the time out every day and start learning about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I mean and maybe maybe you have to go to a class or whatever but just that is that has to be a a, a part of your day. It has to be, just like the Quran has to be a party day. But like, again, baby steps. Learning about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Who was he? Who was this man that gave us our religion and gave us our prayer and gave, and gave us everything? Like, who was he? And I think once, and I pray, and, and you know, I, I don't want to say as certain as I am, but like, I'm, I 100% guarantee if you do that and you learn about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, You'll f- you'll find the thing that your deen is missing, because there is no Islam without the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There is none. He is he is the embodiment of what a Muslim is. But yeah, um, but yeah, man, I I just I I really hope because it, it, I was just there and I was like it was it was such a maybe maybe there's so many people watching this video like Umar there like what what are you even on about we all do we all do this anyway <laughs> maybe it's just me that's like catching up later <laughs> but yeah I think that was the, like that was the main thing people would talk about oh the problem in this Umar is this and it's this I was like bro the problem in this Umar is that we've we don't know the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that's what it is again we got the all these and and, and mainly as well especially in this time mainly the men Maybe I'll make a separate episode. I may, I might make a separate episode, but I'll talk about mainly the men. The men of today, you need to start studying the life of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He is the ultimate guide to understand what it means to be a man. Stop going on YouTube and typing in red pill, alpha male, sigma male. I don't care about any of those males. I care about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because he was the ultimate male on all degrees, on all axes of how, whatever type of way of measuring a man, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was better than everyone. Again, and it's, and I, and don't go, and don't get it twisted. Obviously there's, there was beneficial knowledge within like the red pill philosophy, but again, but it's not, when you have something that's only got a piece of the truth and not, it isn't truth in itself. There's obviously going to be points of it that are lacking and breaking down and stuff. And it's like, I think the men of today, we've, we've over like, it's like someone learned about red pill the other day and it's like, their whole life and it's just changed and it's like but in that pursuit we've just completely forgot that we already have the perfect role model of a man to go to like we don't i don't need to be out here searching for a role model i don't need to be out here searching for a father figure i don't need to be doing any of this because i can find it all within muhammad and with that i'll i'll end it but um but yeah hopefully this wasn't that long how long was it Okay, that's fine. Okay, no. Okay, twenty minutes. All right, good. Not too bad. <clears throat> but yeah, I think I'm gonna do another video about like Muhammad and like the whole red pill thing because I've obviously I know it's got the it's bloody got the youth of today in like a chokehold <laughs> to say the least. Because you know, like, and that's another thing. I'm just scrolling through Instagram. Just, oh, I scroll and I'm scrolling through Instagram. I scroll through TikTok. And it's this podcast of like this woman arguing with this man. Oh, well, what do you bring to the table? Oh, what do you bring to the table? And I'm just there like, shut up. <laughs> like, like, you know, when you have like a topic, like imagine like, you know, like, let's say you're having a topic of conversation with someone. You speak to them for a bit about a topic. But this topic has just been going on for like so long. And I'm like, can we just talk about something else? Like, anything <laughs> anything at this point but yeah like oh my god every single podcast <laughs> every single podcast is talking about what's a high value male what's a high value female i don't care what one is anymore because the thing is and this is the main thing if you are one you don't talk about it 
it's the same. It's like it's like me running around saying I'm humble. <laughs> like if someone if someone's out there, like telling you, oh my god, I'm so humble. Like yo, if you would have saw me yesterday, I was so humble. <laughs> like it defeats the whole point of the thing. Or even like charity, <laughs> mate. I gave twenty pounds to this homeless guy the other day. I'm like, ugh, I just, I'm just such a good guy. It's like, it's such a dumb thing. If you are it, then you are it, and if you're not, then you're not. Like, we don't need to talk about it so much and get like, it's just very, I don't know. For me, this is very nerdy for like the people of like, <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Come on, I'm gonna offend some people. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, guys, just yeah, take away from this. Go and study the life of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Um, I'm going to make a video about <laughs> Muhammad and masculinity. Like, a real man. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Um, but yeah, I apologise if I've offended anybody. <laughs> There's this little... I can just imagine this little scrawny kid just watching my... <laughs> watching this episode thinking and I'm just like <laughs> taking a dump on all of his like heroes. <laughs> It's like no, he's like no again. Like I said, there's there's good within this, in the message of people tr- like trying to teach men how to be men. Hundred percent, I agree with it. But at the end of the day, you're not Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, so you're gonna have fault. In the same with me, um, if I'm teaching someone how to be a man, unless I'm getting it from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it's like it's gonna be flawed. Um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, I will see you on the next episode. Yeah, let's just let's just make it let's just make a uh an effort to learn about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah. And don't again, like I said, don't think I'm this pious person just because 'cause I'm wearing a kufi or this thobe or whatever. Like it doesn't this maybe that's the problem. We've focused on external things because I'm I am not a reflection of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at all. And I need to become that. I need to start working on it and I and I am working on it, I'm trying. But yeah, um, but yeah, assalamu alaikum. I'll see you on the next episode. Shout out to Human Appeal. Stay follow us on Instagram and make sure that you keep up to date with all our deployments and our challenges. And I can't wait to see all of you there. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>